hello, hello, Ian. It's uh, Peter Windsor here. Hello, Peter. I've been waiting for a long time. <laughs> well, I... I wanted to, I've got to tell you, Ian, we're actually on my live show at the moment, but I'm ringing because I want to wish you a very happy 90th birthday. We're all thinking of you. That's very kind of you. <laughs> How is it up there in Scotland? Um, a lovely sunny day up here today, although um, not quite as brightness yesterday. There's a little bit of haze in the sky. Nice, sir. Well, you're sounding very well, Ian. I hope you're keeping safe and well at this very difficult time. Um, so far, well, I had a problem earlier on in the year, but um, uh, as far as the current corona coronavirus is concerned, that hasn't yet bitten me. And I'm feeling very good and, and uh, staying at home. Oh, well, that's, that's great to hear, Ian. And I was just saying on the internet how how much time and effort you put into Jimmy's career in the very, very early days. And I just want to thank you for that. I think as all motorsport fans, you know, Jim Clark has br brought so much to the lives of so many people around the world. And you were right there, right at the beginning, watching Jimmy in your <laughs> racing your Porsche, racing your Sunbeam Talbot. What was he like in that Sunbeam Talbot as a matter of interest? I've never really asked you, but what did he look like when he was driving it? I didn't actually sit with him very often in the Sunbeam Tower because he would be dri driving the Porsche or the DKW before that. But um, <clears throat> when you saw him from outside, he looked totally in control as usual and obviously enjoying himself. Yeah. I, I often think of Jimmy and those beautiful country roads you have around your part of the world. and They're quite narrow, but I often think about Jimmy driving on those, presumably... He, he was usually pretty quick on those roads, I would guess, going from A to B, doing whatever he was, going to the pub. Um, he, he was, although he was, he, you know, he, knew, he, he was reasonably careful too. I mean, he, he certainly didn't do bad things on the road, but he did drive. I, I particularly remember um, an occasion when we'd been through in Glasgow at a um, celebratory dinner for Jimmy's first championship win and we were coming home in the port in his galaxy. Um, unfortunately I'd overeaten at the dinner and I probably had a bit too much drink and I think Jimmy and Graham Gold had carted me into the, uh, the galaxy and parked me and laid me on the back seat and uh, about half an hour, well, about an hour in fact into the journey I woke up and I could see Jimmy was working very hard with his, with his shoulders and he said to Graham something about the car. It, it, it's really quite an effort today. And I just apparently said, oh, it's probably ice. <laughs> the whispery laughed like anything, but about a mile later on, it was obvious that it was black ice. And he then gave us a demonstration of driving on ice, which is, I shall never forget, it was absolutely incredible. I mean, he was driving really fast, total control, brilliant. Wow, and that was, that was the Galaxy, that would have been the year actually when he, when he did the RAC rally in the Lotus Cortina and he was really quick in that too and he would have been on ice there too, so yeah, I mean... He was, yes, he was quick in, in road cars, he was, he was quick, but uh, always very sensible. Yeah. <laughs> Ian, um, I won't keep you, but one final question. You've owned some really nice road cars over the year, over the years. What what would be your all-time favourite personal road car? Um, I actually think the Lotus, the original Lotus Elite, uh, especially the, the road one that I had was the car that I still wish I had. Um, I love the Lotus Elite. It's such a lovely looking car and it was so quick for its tiny little engine. Marvellous car. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I was talking to Gordon Murray relatively recently. We just got a video out with him and he was saying exactly the same thing. The Elan and the Elite, particularly the Elite. A, a, a timeless car in terms of its shape. Very, very quick. And uh, a car to be treasured and cherished even today. As much as we uh, treasure you too, Ian, and have a very, very happy 90th. Take care and look forward to speaking to you very soon. Fantastic.
Thank you too for being on the forum. My pleasure. Take care. Bye-bye.